All right. So the part that, that that got me excited about having you on here is talk. And I'm I grew up in the '60s, so I'll use the phraseology of the double features of the day, talking about atomic rockets because <laughs> atomic rockets sounds very cool. The big areas of investigation, as I understand it at this point, is looking at uh, nuclear electric propulsion and nuclear thermal propulsion, both of which appear to be very promising for different uses because they have very different characteristics. And uh, at least one of them is something that we researched quite a bit in the past, but maybe you could just sort of walk us through what the differences and advantages of those two kinds of systems are, if you would. Absolutely. Yeah, of course, nuclear electric propulsion um, is, is something that can couple immediately uh, with high TRL electric propulsion systems. The only nuance here is that we're generating electricity to feed those propulsion systems uh, from a nuclear reactor or nuclear power source. And it, it doesn't just have to be a reactor, it could be a radioisotope system, which is 1950s technologies. And uh, now we're, we're trying to regain traction uh, to uh, enable 1960s technologies uh, coupled to nuclear electric propulsion.